Hello, I'm Patrick. And I'm Jeff. And since we last were here, as the whole world is probably aware, our Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, sadly passed away. We wish the new King, being King Charles III, all the best in his role as monarch of this country. And I hope he carries on the tradition of his mother and also subscribes to this channel. So then, if you've been in this hobby long enough, you're probably aware of the chap Darren Latham. He is a paint. He has been a painter for Games Workshop. He's been a head painter for Games Workshop, and is now one of their sculptors. He still keeps his hands in with painting, and he still does it very, very well. In fact, he's almost achieved. Would you say like godlike status? I would say is as painters go. I've got a cardboard cut out of him. <laughs> you got? Oh, you shrine? Yes. Yeah, maybe you tell yeah. me you shrine yeah. coming on. Don't don't have the cardboard cut out too close to all the candles though, otherwise you know, yeah. fire risks and all that. So a little while ago, he put a video up on TikTok and Instagram, which was him attempting to paint a space wolf using dry brush and contrast methods. Yeah, is this the one that people refer to as slap chop? Slap chop, yeah. The honest ball gamer. His video went uh, well, very popular, and he sort of seems to have uh, packaged up this painting technique and delivered it in like a, a very fun video. It's quite I funny because I, I used to use the expression slap chop, but it was the only way I dealt with people when I was a bouncer. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so this isn't, it's not a 30 minute challenge, but it's uh, it's sort of like 30 minute challenge, but the clock stands off because there's contrast involved. So we can't, we can't get that within the 30 minutes because it's going to need some drying time. Yes, so we're going to take a uh, speed painting technique and see if we can replicate it. Yeah. I'm already feeling like I can't live up to the, uh, the expectations of, of Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Set in already, to, to be honest with you, Pat. Well, we can but try. Absolutely. You know, I'm also, I'm almost hoping I don't do anywhere near a good job of this because next thing you know, I'll have a space wolf army. <laughs> right, I'm happy with my uh, Gracie there, so I'm going to go on to uh, yes, on some to, white. Yeah, not Corax white. No, sorry, I mean, sorry, GW, but it just I, can't happen. <laughs> oh, you're going in with the old makeup brush. Yeah. I am going to go in with a small... Dry as long brush. as I've got it clean for Saturday night, I'll be alright. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to live to regret this, but I think this looks really cool at the minute. Like, I'm really happy with, uh, with yeah. how it looks. Yeah, me too. Don't want to get it on any of the uh, any of the like leather elements because then that's all that dry brushing work is, is yeah it's gone is for now isn't it so whilst it has been incredible fun doing all that dry brushing and building everything up it's now becoming a bit of a panic i'm uh having kittens now yeah yeah me too lulled into a false sense of security by the uh the abandonment of just dry brushing a miniature yeah Right then, so that's that dry. We're back to it. Yeah. So now, Griff Charger Grey. Griff Charger Grey, slowly starting to take shape. This is yeah. kind of like quite greeny bluey. It, it is quite. It is quite greeny bluey. I'm uh, genuinely I'm, a little bit nervous about it. I'm uh, I'm going with the idea that I'm hoping that uh, the billion years that uh, Darren Latham's been painting miniatures, he knows what he's talking about. You know what? I'm not nervous about this anymore. I have faith in the Leith. Right, we have some grey marines now. We do, they're looking at mildly space wolf esque, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, like, not winning any golden demons anytime soon. No, but mine doesn't look like Darren's, but it looks like a space wolf. And, and you know what, if I have to, I'll take that. Yeah. You know, so we'll see. So, anyway, in now with some. Uh... Snake bite onto the pouches. That's where yeah. it all. I mean, you did, they do look very monotone at the moment, so it's going to be nice to get a bit of colour. Yeah. And I do love me some contrast. I, and and I, I, I love snake bites. Yeah, already he looks a bit more like a marine now. Mm -hmm. 
can see the cover of the uh, the Nottingham Post now. Senior member of staff at Games Workshop assaulted in car park by a man who shouted, "You made me start another bloody army." A heretic. <laughs> 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 Missed an ankle. Bendy bit in the back of an ankle. Or... Oh. Yes, yeah, so I. Heresy! <laughs> <laughs> so, shall I go Imperial Fist? Oh. I'm going to do it. Screw Avalanche Sunset. Contrast all the way. So I might go in with a second coat of that. Okay. After that's dried. Sport mode. Right then, so that was good. I enjoyed that. You know what? I, uh, I've had a whale of a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, new way of painting things. I've never done like the... So doing like a pre-highlight has generally been like an airbrush thing that yeah. I've seen on YouTube. So I've never attempted it with a dry brush before in contrast paint. But slap chop method, great fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we managed to do slap chop method and actually no one was hurt in the process, which is the main thing. <laughs> right, shall we have a look? Shall we cross them over? Cross. And We're crossing the streams. Absolutely right, and mark each other's homework. Yeah, are you going first? Yes, I really like this. It's really lovely and neat. I think um, it's got more um, it's got more of a subtlety to it than mine. I'm loving the, the, the ribbon on the, uh, on the belly armor, on the belly hoses whatever you want to call it, the undersuit. Yeah. Really like it. I think the face is lovely and crisp. And I'm really, really liking the pouches. I think you've done an A1 job on that, my man. I think um, shoulder pad, but only because for a moment we tried to yeah, think we knew I, better I than... Think if I was to do it again, yeah, I tried. I was like, hey, wouldn't it be a shame? It's a shame not to get all of these highlights coming through. So maybe I'll use some Imperial Fist Contrast. I should have just used... Avalanche Sunset and shaded it down afterwards, like with Fire Slay Flesh or something. Yeah. Um, thought, you know, hey, maybe, maybe for a split second, try something that Darren Latham hadn't thought of. But he probably had thought of it and didn't do it for this reason, that it doesn't look very good. You you went off piste and it leads to, it leads to painting avalanches. <laughs> <laughs> so many snow plants. <laughs> Well, yeah, Leads I'm... to snowwear good. Oh. Let's quit. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm loving that, man. No, I think that's really good. Thank you. I think all of it looks good. Grenades look really well. Yeah. yeah. I think, again, it's always what this show leads into is a pack of 10, three or yeah. four feet away. And I think they would be, if I was on the other side of the table looking at that, Absolutely fine. I'd be well happy with yeah. that. Yeah. I think uh, Mr. Latham knows what he's talking about. And he's... Um, it, it as a method i think it, it as a process i think yeah. it really works yeah yeah liking that man i yeah. think uh, i think you may have pipped me there let's have a look at yours so immediately things that stand out red pack markings yep i think they're awesome thank you um we used to play space wolves i did used to play space wolves so i used yeah. to go with red markings a lot yeah. i always found Black markings always look like they got a bit swallowed up with the armor, I think. Yes, yeah. And I think on mine, it's like they're there, but like there's also mm -hmm. quite a lot of other dark black on there. So it is. In lost. Darren's defense, he may well have been putting them black markings on because they are actually the right markings for that unit. Yes. As yeah. not a Space Wolf player, I, you know, I've just owned my own thing and yeah. maybe I shouldn't have, or maybe it doesn't match. But, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I feel like the armor is kind of like 
Maybe some of the highlights are peeking through a bit more on mine. I think yeah. Do you think that was because right. of the makeup brush? Do you think it was like too good? It might have been. You know, the makeup brush might have just been a bit too subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So that's interesting. But like, I love the the face and the eyes look wicked. Yeah, face and the eyes look really good. Um, and like, yeah, grenades and the gold. I think your knife has turned out sort of better than mine. Yeah, you um, had a you, you had a bit of a mare with the knife, didn't you? Unfortunately, yeah, which is a shame. Bit of did the shading. I just couldn't really make it work. I think I was probably put, trying to put too much on. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, We've I had think fun. I'm I'm going to say you've got it, and I'm going to say you've got it on because I think you did a better job on nail on the highlights than I did. Mm. I think you. Uh, and that, yeah, I was. I think you uh, did well with that. The synthetic. Uh, Citadel uh, dry brushes, so I yeah. yeah swapped to the small one for the last two, um, and really just tried to focus in on this highlight. So maybe that served me well. Yeah, well, well done, sir. I'm uh, I'm conceding to you on that one. Thank you very much. I think that worked really well. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you're thinking about painting space walls, now you've watched us do it. Um, go and give the actual real video a watch of Darren Latham's. It's available on Instagram and it's available on TikTok. On TikTok as well, yeah. yeah. Go and check out Honest Wargamer. He's kind of like uh, packaged up the slap chop sort of method. And, oh, he has indeed, and, yeah. He's done so he's done a really great video about video. it. I mean, yeah. most people probably would have seen it already. But, so. but yeah, it's worth, that's also worth a look if you're uh, trying to get in the mindset of how best to do it. Yeah. So, thank you for tuning in. Remember, if you've watched this and you haven't subscribed, please do. And tell your friends, like, share, press that button that lets you know we're doing more. And remember, in less than a month's time, it'll never be the same again. Keep watching. Bye-bye.